Hey YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a rebag unbagging of a Prada bag. Yay! And as you can see, the bag has been removed from the plastic and the box and all that. And the reason is because Prada is highly counterfeited, especially in their re-edition style, which would be this style. This is the re-edition 2005. It comes with this beautiful chain strap as well as a bandolier strap. And this particular bag in black, I had wanted to buy pre-loved and I went through two different authentication companies to verify its authenticity and both of them declined to say whether it was authentic or it was counterfeit. They said that these bags are so highly counterfeited that sometimes it is just impossible to tell. And for that reason, I have only gotten my Prada re-editions from the boutique directly or through a personal shopper from the boutique directly. I'm just too worried to buy them another way. I would trust a department store as well, but I do not trust the resale market for these. However, I did find another Safiano bag on the resale market that's not as popular as this particular style. And that Safiano bag is in this rebag bag. And I did get it authenticated with Authenticate First. Now, I have been using Authenticate First for the last few months, and I have authenticated the Green Gucci from Vestier Collective. And let me see. I think I may have also authenticated a couple more items, but they're just not coming to my mind. I know I have. I know I have authenticated three items in the last couple months, and this is one of them. So I was comfortable doing that with this one because it's just not as popular of a style, but it's still the Safiano that Prada is so well known for. And it's in a color that is just to die for that I did not have in my collection with this hardware combination. So without further ado, let's get into the bag. So this is the Prada Safiano camera bag and it's in blue. I don't know what color blue, but it is a gorgeous blue. I would say it's slightly more muted than royal blue, but it is going to go awesome with jeans. It's going to be awesome for carrying to the University of Kansas games because their colors are kind of a royal blue and red, and I just love it. It feels every bit as luscious in terms of the Safiano leather texture as my re-edition bag. And it has now been double authenticated, authenticated through Rebag, and also authenticated through Authenticate First. If you look at the texture, you'll see it is the same. It looks fantastic. There is no odor. There's not one iota of corner wear on this bag. The hardware is really quite stunning. I like how the zipper is on a hinge. You can see that. I think that's a really nice touch. The hardware has almost like a frosted finish. And what's super cool is that this strap is removable. And most camera bag straps are not removable when it comes to luxury camera bags. My Gucci camera bag straps are not removable. My Saint Laurent camera bag straps are not removable, but this strap is. The one drawback I see is that it doesn't have a keeper besides this one for the strap. And when I got it, it was on the shortest hole, so you can see it has a little bit of a kink. I do feel like that's going to work out because I can smooth it out by just pulling it, and there really are not any wrinkles. And I extended it to the second from the longest length. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. I haven't tried it on yet. You guys get to experience that with me in person. It is lined with the same kind of lining as my re-edition bags are. It's got the Prada with their chain design woven into the nylon fabric. This particular pocket is a little stretched out. That is the only sign of wear I could find on this bag. And then it also has a zippered pocket on that side. And because the zippers go down on this side, the bag opens up great big and wide, which I love. So this bag, I believe it is about seven and a half inches across by a little over five inches tall by 
I think three inches deep. Let me get my tape measure. Okay, so it is nearly eight inches across. It is about five inches tall and it is a little over two and a half inches deep. So this bag is pretty comparable in size to the Aspinall of London camera bag that I got from my friend Amy. And that is this little gem. The main difference is that the Prada is just a tiny bit shorter. It is almost the same length, but you can tell the difference in the width. The Prada is just a little bit wider. So if you come across one of these on the resale market, I have seen them primarily without this bit of gold chain. And I'm not sure if the ones I've seen have removable straps or not, but I think as long as you have this kind of a peg system, then you're going to be able to remove the strap and put on whatever chain strap, guitar strap, whatever you want. There is a beaded University of Kansas strap that's currently sold out right now, but I thought it would look fabulous with this bag whenever they do make some more. I'm all casual today, just like normal. I've got on a Z Supply hoodie, a Z Supply top, and Z Supply joggers. Can you tell I like Z Supply? But this Prada, like I said, it's on the second to the longest setting. It is super lightweight and hits in a great spot. And I love that the gold is so soft in color because it doesn't really look garish or gaudy. It's just very, very nice. I'm 5'8", and I generally wear a size medium, and so that kind of gives you an idea for the proportions of this bag. The little bit of extra depth it has over that Aspinall bag, I believe is going to let me fit my phone in too, so I do think this is going to hold all my daily essentials. So I will do more in-depth info on this later, but I did want to show you my new bag, and I have one other thing I'd like to show you, so just give me a second. This Fendi Baguette chain bag is in the medium size, which now they just have the midi on the website. I love this size. Now, this is a bag I also got from Rebag a little while back, and it does not have any structure. That camera bag I just showed you has structure, but this Fendi does not have any structure. So since I showed it to you, I have gotten this beautiful insert for her, and this is from Joy and Bag. I do think that the Gucci Marmont small convertible shoulder bag insert may work a little better than this one for this bag. I've tried it in there and I ordered this thinking, oh, it's for the bag. But I think that the medium chain baguette is a little deeper than your standard Fendi. Now I did go ahead and order the base shaper and this was sent to me complimentary by M Boutique Australia. I don't have to do a review, I don't have to say anything, but I do appreciate them sending these to me whenever I have a new bag style to show you. And so this is for the classic medium Fendi baguette and it fits really nicely in this bag. So look, this bag has no structure. I mean, really, especially in the center there, it just bottoms out. And when you put that insert in, that base shaper, it just gives it all the structure that the bag needs there at the base. See, I'm squeezing pretty hard. And it's just amazing what that can do for a bag. And you know me, I love the organizers. This one, I'm not sad I bought it, even though I do think the Gucci Marmont one may fit just a tiny bit better in this bag. It just spreads it out a little more. But I have a feeling one day I will get a vintage baguette or maybe one of the Zuka baguettes, and then I'll have this one for that. For now, though, I think it looks awfully pretty inside of my peachy colored bag with the black trim to have a little bit deeper peachy pink inside. So those were the items I wanted to show you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do have some awesome videos coming up later this week. I have a coach unboxing extraordinaire. I think I have, let's see, I've got two straps, a hat, and a bag. So it is a quadruple unboxing, and I have ordered a few Amazon straps 
to go with one of my bags that I'm going to show you, and I think you are going to love them. I ordered from Amazon this time because I was looking for a particular width in the guitar straps, and so I can't wait to show you as soon as the rest of them come in. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.